and welcome to my channel. Um, I, it's time we have a little chit chat. <laughs> um, as you probably already know from the title of this video, um, it is time to, it is time to get serious. And I've tried recording this a few times and I feel like I'm just getting all of my thoughts like jumbled up and they're just kind of spewing out at you guys and so this time I am determined to get this done because I really want to get this video up. Basically, in a nutshell, it's time for us to start eating properly, um, losing weight and getting more active. So. Yeah, so I am officially back on a weight loss journey. And it's not just me, Dan is coming along as well. So what prompted it, right? Well, last week at Dan's doctor's appointment, he was weighed. And we discovered that he has gained 30 pounds. Yeah, and that's kind of just over pretty much since last summer he's gained 30 pounds and I know a lot of that happened when I was pregnant <laughs> and I don't know if you call it sympathy eating or whatever but um I, I know it happened a lot then I myself ended up gaining 10 pounds with the pregnancy um I'm pretty sure I lost the majority of it but I'm also pretty sure it's back and um yeah it's it's time and it's funny because in the course that I'm taking you know we're learning a lot more about depression and how to handle it and one of the big things is always taking care of others before you take care of yourself and my mom was like that so it is ingrained in me to make sure that everybody else is okay is happy and if I have any any energy left work on me so I am working on that but I think it's seeing that Dan gained this weight even though I knew it I can tell from just like looking at him um, but seeing it and hearing it it's like Oh my god, we I need to get my husband healthy and I need to be healthy. So So it's time. We are we've talked so much about it. Um I don't do good with counting calories, macros, any of that stuff. I just I become either I've either two things happen. I either become completely obsessive about it or I just get lazy and I just don't track. So, um, what we've decided to do is we're not going to be following any specific plan, at least at the beginning. Um, first we want to just really work on changing our eating habits and the food that we are bringing into the house. We really want to change that first. So... Let's talk about that. Um, I am wanting to get more vegetables. Um, the time of year is here where we are finally, I'm in Canada for those of you that are new, but we're finally starting to get fruits and vegetables that are fresh and not cost an arm and a leg. And this week, actually, there's a ton of stuff on sale. So, and it's a pay week. So, um, we really want to get eating more for our fresh vegetables, um, fruits, um, what we can. Um, there are some limitations. Um, first and foremost is the teeth situation. Um, I have very sensitive teeth. Um, obviously you guys know I'm missing a tooth. I can't just eat an apple. I can't just eat a peach or a plum or anything like that. So for me, it's easier to just buy them pre-cut or in the can with water um, or just pre-packaged in whatever, however they come. Um, so I am going to switch that from, because I've been always getting the ones packed in, in, I think, fruit fruit juice. 
And I honestly have never really paid attention to it. Quite honestly. Um, but from now on, I'm going to make a mental note to get the ones packed in water. Um, other than that, like watermelon, pineapple, all of that is fair game. And vegetables. Oh, vegetables are tough. We do have a bunch of frozen ones, which is awesome. I know frozen is better than canned. But um, we do want to get some fresh veggies in. Just because when you're like roasting vegetables, I find frozen ones because they're just watery. Um, it just doesn't work. And there's a couple recipes um, that were sent to me using cauliflower. And I really want to give it a try. So I can't use frozen cauliflower because, again, they get wet. It doesn't work. Um, zucchini. I want to try zucchini. I've never tried it. Um, Dan and I found out neither of us have ever tried kale so we're actually going to try that salad um the sweet kale salad that everybody seems to love um stuff like that we're going to kind of be introducing into our food we're going to be getting more cucumbers and tomatoes and there's going to be a lot of prepping because if it's not ready to go I'm not eating it and it's just the way it is I think I know I'm not alone in that so along with grocery haul videos every week or every well it should be every week you'll now be getting prep videos every week and I am I want to make sure that I have meals planned out um flyers are coming out today so I can finally start to kind of look them over and um I'm hoping as well this weekend we can get a scale because we don't have a um like a scale not a food scale just a well, we don't have a food scale but just a human scale a weight scale excuse me and um I really want to get one because that's kind of important <laughs> so yes now back to the food let's rewind a little bit um yes I will still buy coke Yes, I will still buy a bag of chips or a box of cookies or something sweet like that. And the reason is because I'm realistic and I am a famous binge eater. So what that means basically is if I deprive myself of these things, then I'll be okay, I'll be okay, and then I won't be okay. It will be a binge fest and I will eat everything and anything in my way, in my path, and none of it will be good for me and I will have erased all of my good work. So I would rather have a small bowl of chips or have one or two cookies, um, you know, just to have that. Coke, guys, you know Coke, it's probably going to be in my life for a long time. However, I am down and I am proud of myself from six Cokes a day to one, maybe two a day. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get it lower. Um, we're going to be getting some bottled water and I think that's going to help because I need to get also my water up substantially. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so that's going to help. But... <sighs> We aren't perfect people. We're not. And a big part of the problem is portion control. More so with Dan. I don't, I don't know. I don't really eat a lot when I eat. It's just eating the, the wrong foods. So, yeah. So that's it, guys. We are going on a weight loss journey <laughs> again. Um, so what I'm going to, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of post once a week um, let you know kind of how our week went food wise. Um, you know, did we lose weight? Did we gain weight? Um, and then I'm also going to try and post once a week, uh, my meals. So either I'll either do like a couple days of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or I will just do like all lunches or I, it'll be something like that. And also in my daily vlogs, I will start you know, showing you guys what I'm eating and when I'm eating and things like that. So, and I'm doing this because I need to be accountable and it just has to happen. <laughs> it really, truly just has to happen. So, this is it. I appreciate any support we get. Um, you know, we need the push, we need the kick in the butt and the encouragement and I know I can count on you guys for that. So, 
yeah so that's it for this video so give me a big thumbs up if you guys are on board if you want to support us um it's gonna be a long journey but it's also gonna be a fun journey trying new foods and new methods of cooking and things like that so i am excited i think it's gonna be good i'm excited to get groceries this weekend and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and for everything I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.